In a rapidly escalating geopolitical scenario, tensions soar as a nuclear-armed submarine sent by the U.S. reaches South Korean waters. Amidst the uncertainty, Russian Defense Minister Sergei Shoigu's crucial meeting with North Korean officials in Pyongyang adds another layer of complexity to the situation. Stay tuned as we delve into the latest developments and the implications they hold in this high-stakes diplomatic encounter. Welcome to Slant News. If you want to support, you can subscribe to our channel. As regional tensions escalate, recent developments involving the U.S. sending a nuclear-armed submarine to South Korea have caught the world's attention. Amidst these rising tensions, a significant meeting took place between Russian Defense Minister Sergei Shoigu and North Korean counterpart Kang Sun Nam in Pyongyang. During this meeting, the two officials emphasized the importance of bilateral cooperation and partnership between Russia and the Democratic People's Republic of Korea. They share a common border and a history of collaboration, making their relationship even more crucial. The Russian defense minister expressed gratitude for the warm reception and care shown by his Korean friends, acknowledging the rich program they had prepared for him. The meeting was further documented by the release of footage showing a roundtable discussion with officials, aimed at enhancing cooperation between the defense ministries of both nations. Interestingly, the Russian and Chinese delegations visited North Korea, marking the first known foreign visitors to the country since the pandemic-induced border closure. The visit coincided with Korean War anniversary events, demonstrating the continued interest and involvement of these nations in the region. Russia's historical alliance with North Korea has maintained friendly relations between the two countries, even amidst the complexities of international affairs. However, the timing of the visit is notable, as it comes in the aftermath of a failed mutiny led by the Wagner chief, Yevgeny Prigozhin, who attempted to topple the leadership in Moscow. This incident might have added to the heightened tension in the area. In response to the escalating situation, North Korea conducted a missile launch off its east coast, with the South Korean military reporting that the missiles fell outside the Japanese exclusive economic zone. The United States and its allies are closely monitoring the developments and have been increasing their military cooperation to respond effectively to any potential aggression from North Korea. Military drills and combat readiness are underway to demonstrate preparedness for any eventuality. Last week, the U.S. even deployed a nuclear-capable submarine off the South Korean coast, citing the rising tensions as the reason. However, North Korea responded aggressively to this move, issuing a nuclear threat against Seoul in response to the submarine's deployment. The U.S. military has stated that, as of now, the missile launches do not pose an immediate threat to U.S. personnel, territory, or allies. Nevertheless, the situation remains highly delicate and requires careful monitoring and diplomacy to prevent any further escalation. In conclusion, the situation in the region is complex and dynamic, with multiple actors involved. Tensions continue to rise as military actions and responses are being closely watched by the international community. The meeting between Russian and North Korean defense ministers reflects the importance of diplomatic efforts and bilateral relations in finding a peaceful resolution to the current crisis. It remains to be seen how the situation unfolds and how various nations navigate this delicate and potentially dangerous scenario. Here we wrap up the news on this topic. And be sure to subscribe to our channel.